Till I am a soul on fire. Lord, I'm longing for the ways. I'm waiting for the day that I am a soul on fire. Lord, I'm longing for the ways. I'm waiting for the day that I am a soul on fire. Till I am a soul on fire. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 7th. My name is Rosie and my co-host is Callie. Welcome to the WSMM Morning Show. Please stand and join us in saying the morning offering and the Pledge of Allegiance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, words, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Master of the world. <coughs> I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for all the intentions of our bishops and all the apostles of prayer, and in particular for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please keep the following people in your prayers. The Pope and church leaders, all firefighters, police, first responders, and health care workers. Angel Farella, Simone Bowles, Bay Bailiff, Nick Arup, P.Z. Leninger, Greg Hughes, Mindy McGee, Shannon Berg, Jean Ladner, Stephanie Bartlett, Tristan Bhatti, Kathy Ladner, Christian Nock, Latish Alberts, Patsy Myers, Geraldine Mayer. For the repose of the soul of Leslie Bouvier, for her family and friends, and all, for all those who mourn her loss. <coughs> we march pray intention of the Holy Father, which is that we pray for those who have suffered harm from members of the church. May they find within the church herself a concrete, response to their pain and suffering. For our parents, grandparents, and family members who are ill, and all those who have asked for our prayers, for the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. Birthdays. We only have one birthday today, and it's Felicity Brooks. Come on. Yay. Happy birthday, Felicity! Good morning, Chargers with Souls on Fire. Today we learn about St. Monica. After her husband's premature death, St. Monica dedicated her life to raising her children. As a single mother of three, she, per she persevered in the face of many difficulties. Her greatest desire was for her children to follow Christ. Although later in life she was known as a fervent man of God, St. Augustine did not easily come to see God's truth. St. Monica never stopped praying for her, his eternal soul. In spite of the circumstances, after many years of prayer, St. Monica finally saw her son give his, give his life to the service of God. St. Augustine declared that his mother's re resilience and dedication to prayer is what led him to become the man of God he was meant to be. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus like the fire of your love in my heart today through perseverance during Lent. Now for today's weather. Here are the current conditions. It is 72 degrees with the humidity at 92%. The winds are out of the southwest at 4 miles per hour. There is no chance of rain today. The temperature will reach into the upper 70s today. It will be overcast in the morning, but the sun will come out this afternoon, and it will be nice the rest of the day. Sports updates. There are no sports updates. Now for today's announcements. Exam week is this week for sixth and seventh graders. Tomorrow, Wednesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, both sixth and seventh graders will take exams for their fourth and sixth grade classes. And on Thursday for their seventh and eighth grade classes. Good luck. The only after school activity this week is Mary's Messengers. They meet on Thursday from 3 to 3.45 p.m. in the St. Joseph's Atrium. Attention students in grades three through six. Cheer applications are due next Tuesday, March 14th. Here's the joke of the day. How do robots get eat guacamole? I have no clue. How do robots eat guacamole? With computer chips. <laughs> now to Mr. Collins for the student of the month presentations for grades K, 1, and 2. Good morning. Today we recognize our students of the month for February for K-1, Mr. Caleb Scott. Come on up, Caleb. Congratulations to you. 
Can you go stand by Coach Gay and she'll show you where you can wave to your classmates, please? Come here. Right there and wave. Congratulations, Caleb. Okay, go. Did Mama get a picture? Did Mom get a picture? No, we want to stand back there. We got to get pictures. We can get okay, one. Okay, two. Zelly Schneido. Good job, Sally. <coughs> Two. For one, one, Travis Pichon. All right, Travis. Look, stand by Coach Gay. She'll show you where to wait to classmates. For one, two, student of the month, Chloe Gullier. Congratulations. For a two, one, Leland Golden Spires. And for a two, two, Brody Bauer. So tomorrow we will announce students in third and fourth grade and fifth, fifth grade. grade and fifth grade. Thank you. The thought of the day, the difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of inward. Perseverance is what really matters. Special thanks to our camera person, Coach Gay, and our director, Molly, and producer, I'm Rosie. And I'm Callie. Signing off from WSMM. Have a terrific Tuesday. Okay.